Okay, are you like me? Do you have a puppy? I have two, a three-year-old and a two-year-old, and boy, do we need some help. Well, that's great because Kyla Deneau's here today from Easy Breezy Dog Training. Hello, Kyla. Hello, Sam. Thanks so much for having me. I need you. I think it's. I think. <laughs> I think it was the perfect day for me to spend time on daytime because you've got this great book out. Tell us about your book. Oh, thanks so much. Um, Brain Games for Your Dog. I published uh, just over a year ago. And I really created this book for um, to engage the dog's brain because mm -hmm. a lot of people think to tire out my crazy doodle, yeah. right? Got to run, we got to go on major power walks, fetch, tug, all that stuff. But all you've done is adrenaline and endorphins. Mm -hmm. Whereas if we mix it up with some brain games, get that nose working, get that brain game, it's going to release dopamine. It's going to really help calm your dog down. So I released Brain Game for Your Dog last year, and then I just published the French version of it uh, um, two weeks before Christmas. So oh, I'm very wonderful. excited. Yeah, Wonderful. And so I, I think that is a misnomer, right? Because a lot of people, uh, you know, are out there and they're they're running their dogs all over the place, bring them back. They're still a little bit loopy yeah. when they get back in the Absolutely. house. So, so talk to me a little bit about maybe something that would be something to start off with. Absolutely. So let's say you bring your dog for a walk and you come back in and they are still full of energy. You could use some of these mental and enrichment games here. So mm. this is a puzzle toy. Mm. These are food dispensing toys. So you can put their kibble in there mm. and then your dog's got to move it around to um, get the kibble out. But honestly, most of the ideas in my book is stuff you find around the house oh. using an empty uh, egg carton, using um, cutting out a hole in a water bottle or a plastic mm. bottle, um, using toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls. Now, of course, if you got a crazy puppy that wants to eat everything, <laughs> then you got to be careful with yeah. the some stuff that you give yeah. them. But but um, one of my favorite go-tos are actually these cute little circuit cards that I give out to my clients. But it's doing training, right? It's getting mm. your dog focused on you. So doing puppy push-ups, which is sit, down, oh, sit. Um, doing this couple spins, up on the couch, down, touch, touch. Yeah. These are my go-tos when I want to tire. I have a doodle as well. Okay. And uh, Finley's four, and he's still crazy. Yeah. So this is my go-to when I want to tire him out. Does everyone have a doodle, or is it just my I imagination? I think so. Yeah. yeah, the doodle craze. So lots of people looking for four ideas and and when you you know when you wrote this book was the idea that you would not only obviously enrich the lives of, of the owners but but really enrich the lives of, of the dogs because I know uh, certainly from ours they love those snafaris for yes. instance right yeah uh, talk to us a little bit about about your passion for the for the dogs as absolutely. well absolutely so dogs have between 200 and 300 million scent receptors we have six to seven million so just imagine in the morning that smell of coffee mm. Your dog smells that 50 times more than you do. So when they are using their nose and, and out and about and smelling, all of those scent particles triggers the frontal part of their brain. And the olfactory bulb is 40 times bigger than humans. Mm -hmm. So it's so satisfying for them. And it's their natural instincts to sniff and forage. Mm -hmm. So when they get, when they're finding, doing all these fun puzzle toys and they find that kibble or find that treat, it is so satisfying for them. And then you're going to end up with a dog that's snoring on your couch. <laughs> he can get some work done yeah. and not be, you know, trying to tire them out with, with a game of fetch that's just going to, you're going to create a super athlete. Yeah, which is great because I think you yeah. know we want to enjoy our dogs and if they're if they're feeling like we just can't exhaust them yeah. um, what advice would you have for someone that does have a brand new puppy mm-hmm good question so puppies um, you know getting them in, uh, registered in a puppy class is mm -hmm. a great way there's so many um, schools out there in Ottawa that offer that I had some puppies uh, classes start last week and it's my favorite you know having yeah. five puppies um, you know for an hour and it's really um, I call it CPR, consistency, patience, and repetition. Being mm -hmm. really consistent with the rules of the house, especially mm -hmm. when you have uh, children, um, lots of patience. You've mm -hmm. got a baby, right? They're just learning. And mm -hmm. the expectations of our puppies to know how to behave and how to act in such a small amount of time, they just haven't had the repetition of all that basic obedience for things to become a habit. Right, mm -hmm. right. And I think too, especially people that maybe have had a dog and that dog maybe passes away at 12 or 13, they get this new puppy yeah. and they think that they're gonna get this, you know, mm -hmm. this kind of lie on the couch kind of dog that they had for all those years. They forget about those 
those puppy years. Absolutely, mm -hmm. because when we think back to our dog, like Breeze, that's how I came up with my name, mm. Easy Breezy. She was a German Shepherd mix. Whenever I think of Breeze, I think of like older Breeze, you know, mm -hmm. seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of repetition of a lot of that basic obedience stuff mm -hmm. we did, right? Mm -hmm. They don't have that at mm -hmm. six months, eight months, ten, twelve mm -hmm. months. So it just it takes time. Yeah. So where are we? Uh, where are we picking up this great yeah. book? Yeah. So there's yeah. some wonderful um, stores in Ottawa that carry mm -hmm. them. Uh, Bayshore, Saint Laurent, and Place Orleans Mall, mm -hmm. and the Ottawa Artisan stores have them. Um, Stray Dog Brewery in Orleans. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Rehab for Your Pet on Carling also has them. Mm -hmm. And it's also available on Amazon. And I love you've got pictures in here. That's my guy. Thank that's you, Finley. Finley. Oh, that's Finley. Finley. That's yeah, fantastic. That's oh, what Finley. a sweetheart. He is. Um, so even just to get the pictures of Finley, you want to get those books. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. So lots of great places to get it. Absolutely. Um, what advice would you have for someone that feels like, oh, I have a dog and, and nothing's going to help? Oh, there's a lot. I get a lot of those questions. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just know you're not alone. Mm -hmm. Everyone with a puppy, you're all going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. The shark attacks, the, you know, <laughs> not listening, all yeah. of this stuff. So, um, and then you have some, you know, older dogs with, you know, separation anxiety, mm -hmm. uh, leash reactivity. Reach out to a professional. That's what we're here mm -hmm. for. We're here to help guide you and f to help you understand uh, your dog's body language and for you to help uh, better communicate with your dog. Mm -hmm. It's so important because I think you know they really do take up a, a lot of your a lot of your life you want to make sure you're enjoying them and especially when you've got children right mm -hmm. because it, that's where the the love of having a dog you know really comes from yes absolutely yeah. but they are it's like having another child you mm -hmm. know I, I work a lot with families with younger children in the house and having a puppy it's really tough it's not mm -hmm. easy you have to you know a lot of prevention and management so baby mm -hmm. gates a leash on the puppy in the house mm -hmm. so you can really grab that leash in those moments of shark attacks where your three-year-old running by yeah. screaming yeah, and the yeah. dog's like oh you want to play Arr. yeah and those teeth exactly. are sharp and they exactly. hurt I've caught a couple of war wounds from this week uh, with yeah. the puppies so yeah. it's it's just you know uh, setting everybody up for success beautifully said thank you so much Kyla My for pleasure. joining us today Kyla Deneau giving us all those great tips and a great book you'll want to pick up her book absolutely uh, about all those brain games for your dog uh, when we come back we've got great guests for you you want to stay with us right here on daytime <laughs>